Hi, I'm Neil Woods. I'm the author of Good Cop, Bad War. I'm also the chairman of Leap UK and a former undercover police officer. In the UK, we used to lead the world in drug policy. It was called the British system. And it's a fairly simple premise. If someone has a problem with drugs, they get medical help. That British system was destroyed by American moral imperialism. American foreign policy insisted that everyone follow their lead in how to deal with drugs, and that meant criminalising people. The last breaths of the, the British system was from a doctor called John Marks, who, at the height of the heroin explosion, took over clinics in the Wirral and Warrington, and he continued to prescribe heroin to those people who needed it. Now, the effect there was startling and the evidence outstanding because all of the gangsters who were dealing, they left. They went away to Liverpool because they had no customers. None of his patients died. Some of them got jobs and a lot of them went successfully into treatment because if you're not spending all your time thinking about how you're going to pay for your next fix, you do have time to think about other, other things. John Marks did that for a decade and when he published the evidence from that, the American government insisted to the British government that that end. On the other hand, the Swiss government looked at that evidence and used it to inform their entire policy. And in Switzerland, they still prescribe heroin to this day. From the moment they did that in Switzerland, their burglaries were cut in half. But it is clear from all of the problematic heroin users I've known, and I've known a lot, <laughs> but one thing that is quite clear to me is they all have some real genuine mental health problem. And two thirds of them are self-medicating for childhood trauma, including childhood sexual or physical abuse. It's not just me that says that. There are 20 independent academic studies which have come up with the same numbers. Drug policy at the moment is about criminalising people. So it's time to stop treating people as criminals and it's, starting, it's time to start caring for them. I don't think an evidence-based drug policy is too much to ask for and certainly we should take pride and go back to the British system.